Let's talk some actual real lost film. Sure. All right. This is like a proper lost film story. Noah's Ark. Mm -hmm. This one is wild. You knew about this one as well. Yes, but not all the tasty little tidbits, and I can't wait for you to fill my dumb ass in. 1928. The film Noah's Ark premiered, directed by this guy, Michael Curtis. Uh, the film is like two hours, 15 minutes long, and no one really liked it. The audience and the critics at the time. Again, this is 1928. They don't have anything. Like they, they they don't have Game Boys. They don't have phones. They got shit to do, and people are still talking shit about this trash ass movie. Yes, isn't that crazy? Garbalo. And literally, they're like, yeah, the the long drawn out scenes and the awkward dialogue were challenging to sit through. <laughs> These are people that would do nothing all day. They would sit in chairs. Movies were invented ten years ago, and they're still like, what the fuck <laughs> yeah, is this what trash is this garbage? Um. And yeah, basically they uh, they kind of like threw out the movie. It was embarrassing, and uh, they they cut out a bunch of stuff. This is where it gets pretty interesting. So they did almost like a re-release, and the re-release is kind of what saved the scenes that we do have. Mm -hmm. So what's interesting for the time is that they don't have any special effects. So the whole film again is just the story of Noah's Ark. A great flood comes and kills all the evil doers and the wicked men of mm. the world, and Noah and his family are saved. But they don't have any practical, or they don't have any special effects, so everything has to be practical. So as a result, when they do the flood scene, they literally drop 600,000 gallons of water <laughs> onto a crew of, like, a couple thousand extras <laughs> standing, like, in a river. And they, they literally pipe up a bunch of water from, like, a water tower and dump it on them. And a bunch of the actors are, like, concerned. They're like, oh, is everything going to be okay? And literally the director just goes, you're going to have to just be prepared for anything and, quote, you have to take your chances. <laughs> the footage is unbelievable. Dude. Wow. <laughs> These are just regular people, young <laughs> men and women, just trying to make it in, in Hollywood. Whoa. Yeah. That is a lot of water. Getting thrashed. They don't make movies like this anymore. <laughs> no. Back in the day, they were really about it. The, oh, so it was a silent film. Yes. Um, yeah, you can't hear the people screaming in pain. Awkward dialogue. It's silent. <laughs> <laughs> the critics, dude. Like, we can't hear anything. It's like, yeah, we haven't invented that yet, motherfucker. <laughs> so, unfortunately, uh, three actors drowned. Ugh. Three of them died. One of them lost a leg, which I don't know how you lose a leg in a flood. I mean, like, <laughs> got gone to rock, maybe. Yeah, like, how fast is the water gone? Legs were falling off left and right back then. Le literally, in that order. And, uh, yeah, they, they, they killed three of these people, these poor extras. Thousands more were injured. They had, like, a bunch of 35 ambulances, like, attended people all day. <laughs> and uh, they did a re-release of the movie. They cut out a bunch of uh, the scenes. And of the scenes that they cut out, they cut out the people that had died. Sure. Which is rude, I think. Yeah, you want to honor their memory. Right? Like, there's a guy that died in, like, a James Bond movie. Remember that? Jumping off something? Exactly. He did yeah. that big parachute jump and died. And I'm like, you got to leave him in the movie. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's... You have to. That's his memory. But no, they cut it out. All these people that died, they pulled them out of the movie, and they never, never showed that footage ever again. They, that footage is wiped off the internet. Oh, my God. So, Scrubbed. Literally, you can't even see it. It's kind of sad for those people. You know what's wild? Here's a little fun fact. There's a man that was on that set by the name of Marion Robert Morrison. He was 19 years old, one of the extras getting dumped with water, and he would grow up to be Barack Obama. Barack Obama. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> he ended up becoming president of the United States <laughs> as a half-white guy. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> His name was Rachel Dolezal. <laughs> uh -huh. No, that guy became John Wayne. <laughs> Really? John Wayne was getting dumped on with water. <laughs> 600,000 gallons and didn't die. How old was he, 19? He was 19 years old at the time. Good for him. Crazy, right? That's great. That's just what happened back in the day. Movies were just getting made. That shit would suck, and then they would kill some people and then delete yeah. it. Isn't that insane? <laughs> They'd cover people in asbestos. Yeah. Snow was asbestos. But now you can see the uh, the edited version. Again, this is like the hour and a half version. They cut out an hour, and it's on YouTube right now. The full movie? The yeah the the edited re-release yeah whatever. but yeah you can check it out that might be a fun thing to do tonight. that would be fun tonight maybe, maybe do sure. shrooms and then watch some people <laughs> die in the flood it is realistic I mean that's what the flood was about yeah and it, maybe those people were wicked maybe this was God getting his uh, the final three one last time yeah right just a couple more sinners to add to the <laughs> fucking <laughs> yeah. chain gang up in heaven exactly.